them a little bit they're pretty good i haven't played with grant but i'm sure he's a demon so oh, yeah. i'm ready to see these guys get I mean, at I watched it. them all last year uh casted every single game but i still have no idea what's going on half the time i just like to say <laughs> they're doing some crazy stuff um they have mm -hmm. some really good uh self passes in his this and you probably know more about what it's called um the one where they hit it right off the back uh of right right off the goal right above it and then self goal it however it is i don't know what it's called yeah yeah, I know what you're talking about, I think. Yeah, it's like they hit it onto the like the backboard and then they just dunk it at like 25 degrees or something. It's oh, crazy. Uh, oh, yeah, double tap. Yeah, double tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. You know, these guys are going to hit. So I'm excited to see what these guys can do. You know, first match of the season, I'm pretty sure. So Definitely. this is going to be fun. Good measuring stick to see. I heard I think this team they're playing is pretty good. So it's a good first match. I mean, everybody that I've heard them play against is supposed to be really good. But yeah, besides the like semifinals, I see these guys crack out and like just demolish them. And I'm not even just talking about like one game. They will go the distance. They will go five games and they will not seem tired. It's crazy. Uh -huh. And it is exhausting playing this game. Like you have to be focused the whole time when you're, you're in this. And it doesn't seem like much, but when you're playing it, it does get to you. So that's impressive. Yeah. And I mean, it's a fast game. Non it is. Non-stop action. Yeah. Split second decisions. If you should go for the ball or go back, you know, because yeah, those to... decisions make the difference. Exactly. You have to just be ready to like go in for your team or not. And like right now, like that decision right there, they had two people covering that ball. I mean, they were probably just trying to get it away, but that was a really good save by them. It is. You need good communication this game because if you get double commits, then you're toast. Oh, definitely. You got to have perfect communication. I've seen. I like my... to see. Yeah, I'd like to see MSCM get some a uh, little more pressure on here. They're kind of getting the ball in their half. Let's get it out like they are right now. Let's get some offense going. Yeah, it looks like um, UN, uh, UNL is actually bringing it to their own side. Do you, do you think they're just trying to reset it for uh, Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a good tactic to kind of get the pressure off. Nice shot by this Stu. Let's go. Dewey taking advantage of them bringing it back to their own side. I that don't was think they a were really sad for that. Touch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was yeah. a missed touch right there in front of that. And good thing Stewie was there. That's important to be ready to play those missed touches up close like oh, that. Yeah. So that's good to be in the action. You don't want to go too far back. You know, you want to have someone always right there. Exactly. So that was a nice play right there. Get the, getting the lead in Rocket League is obviously important. You know, you want to play with the lead, obviously not behind. So yeah, you don't want that's to be big. <laughs> you know, is that another goal? Another oh goal right there. Let's Grant. go. Okay, I will tell you, last year Grant had the least amount of goals out of all three of these guys and hey. it was because of his handling but seeing that right there gives me so much confidence in this team love roster to see now. it heck yeah man and uh the, that could have just been you and l just pressuring too much being down trying to force a goal right there and then when you do that it just leads to more goals for the other team so that was exactly. big right there for msum 2-0 lead with a minute left that's that's huge especially and... since it's just like you said uh, when you're behind, you it, it kind of stresses you out a little bit. Uh, you got to play different when you're behind, for sure. Yeah. But it's so far, it's been pretty much everybody's been touching this ball. And I mean, two demos so far, that's that's pretty tame for, for MSUM. 
Are they a demo heavy team? Sometimes, like if somebody starts getting demo, like demoing on them, they go straight into it. Oh, that was just a tough 50 right there. But in that, unfortunately, it goes the yeah. way of UNL. Not much you can do there. He did. Right there. He yeah, really just hard on that. that. I mean, it did. Just a tough 50. Goes the wrong way. See the Honda Civic there? That guy's using the red car. Yeah. Yeah, they just added that to the, the game like last week. It's a oh, pretty it's... fan favorite. Pretty funny. They got the Honda Civic in there now. I mean, I've always loved Honda Civic's <laughs> IRL. So, I mean, like, if I was to play this game, I would probably would try to get that one. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to use. I know, I know, uh, Trash, aka Brad. Should we call them by their gamer tags? You can, their, you can uh, call them whatever. I call him Trash just because it's hilarious. And uh, ever since <laughs> Brand joined the team, he's always told me to call him Trash. I'm like, okay. Uh, I, I like to call them by their names. I mean, like hey. they're, they're gamer tags. That's good stuff. It's fun. Yeah. yeah the, we got 10 seconds here. Let's just lock it down, secure the dub. Yeah, I mean,. I think the last 10 seconds are very crucial too. Like this is another place where you can pressure somebody if they are like, this is the time you should pressure people when they are in the lead. Yes, um, for sure. Because that's when they are going to make the most mistakes. Like right now, lead is just trying to get it to touch down, but. Let's get that ball oh to the ground. God. There we oh, go. That oh. does the trick. That good was, first that game. Was Let's go. Dude. That was really good. That was really good. And Good first try. Hey, and you see, you see Stewie and Trash. They're rocking the Fennec. That's what the name of that car is. And oh. they got the Middle East colors. The the Middle East players in professional rock league are known for rocking that exact color scheme. So we were oh, joking yeah. about about rocking that, and they did roll with it. So that's funny. But that's it awesome. looks like Stewie left the match. He might be switching his setup right now. We'll see. Probably. You know, there's a lot of placebo in this game. Sometimes you're like, this car is not feeling fast or something's wrong with it, even though, you know, it's all in your head. But if it's in your head, it still counts. Yeah, so I mean, it's all up. about your mental about a lot of these games, especially oh, like, exactly. like we were talking about. It, this is a fast game. You get tired very easily. So you if, you're on a, if you're on a car that you're like, you feel a lot better on, why not go for that? that mm -hmm, exactly. Kick off. But for now, it looks like MSUM is taking control of it a little bit more since the beginning, unlike last last game. Cool. Yeah. Ooh, that's just a tough read off the backboard there. Yeah, that was that was what we were talking about earlier, the double tap. Yeah, the double yeah. tap right there. That's a that's a very very effective way to score in this game because it's hard to get up there if the the uh, defense is awkward to just defend exactly. that like right there. It is tough, so. Yeah. Unfortunate, but we got this. We got a lot, lot of game left. Let's get yeah. it. I mean, we still have 440. Facts. It's nothing. I like yeah. the way they're playing. They're they have good rotations right now for MSUM. They're they're not overcommitting. Two. Facts. I feel like Grant is really good on defense. He doesn't really focus on it too much. However, he is he always seems to be in a good position to be there for the ball. Yeah, um, that's important. It's the brothers that kind of take lead when it comes to the aggressiveness. Yeah, they are aggressive. When I played with them, I know they like to go just all out. And, you know, that works. It's, it's called like Grant plays, like what you're saying is third man. So that he lets Stu and Trash just kind of oh, take yeah. over and do what they do. And he'll just fill in where he needs to, which is effective. I mean, look at that. Grant has hit away every single one of these balls. And it's it's all him right now, like Stewie and Stewie and Trash really haven't been hitting it too much. I mean, they haven't really had a feel on the ball until mm -hmm. just right then. So, I mean, that, oh, that, good was, clear there. that was a really nice clear. I mean, there's a lot of pressure right now on, on our side. Hopefully we get a clear, get some boost, kind of reset here. I, that was a good, good lineup for from Trash to get mm -hmm. position the ball, but nobody else is really there to help him out. But I thought Grant might have just been coming out of the woodwork right there. <laughs> just gonna score right up, there. Oh my gosh, up from he does that so often too. It's just crazy. Cause you, you like, like I said, he likes to play this defensive style and he'll stay there. And then all of a sudden he's there being aggressive. It's the craziest thing. <laughs> Demo. Oh. Here we go, Grant on the wall. It's cleared a big clear out there. Let's see I what they can follow very, up with. Yeah, very crucial demo, I believe, right there, just to get that ball away from the goal. Like, oh my yeah, 
Yeah, demos are huge. Getting the other player off the field for three seconds makes a big difference. Especially with all the pressure that they had over on blue side. Now oh, exactly. Sometimes you just got to get the ball out of there. Like, it's just so suffocating when you can't get boost and the ball is just getting shot at your net over and over exactly. again. It just... Sometimes you just you have to go with the this. I would say I wouldn't say it's toxic, but it's just like a more aggressive <laughs> aggressive. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I know people in Rockley consider it toxic, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I know it's like it's... <laughs> some strats go along with that. Like I had a few. We had a few teams last year, like demo every single round and just focused one person. Well, that's another tough one to read right there coming off out of the air and hitting it again as it's bouncing. You know, that's, that's tough to read it. it that was a, just, that that's was a nice shot. really clean looking though. I mean, yeah, it is a nice lie. shot. It is definitely calculated. He was going for it. It's tough. So let's see what we got here. Down two, let's see what we're made of. I got faith these guys are some demons. I mean, like I said, I've seen them go the full five rounds and not look like they're stressing out at all. This could just be trying to test the water, see what they can, what they're working with for the next game too. Yeah, for sure, especially first match of the season. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody's a little bit rusty. Uh, yeah. Lots of these guys have been playing during the summer with against each other, but like. I know they I have had some, a few scrims, but yeah. definitely different playing your first match. Definitely more nerves and. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, after this game, we like after Rocket League, we're going straight into Valorant for our next game. It's crazy. Like we have a full set of like games. Right now. <laughs> good, so, good. Everybody's stressing out today. Uh -huh. but us casters, we're we're chilling. We're, we're making yeah. sure that everybody's <laughs> getting hyped up. For sure. Like, right now, it's just UNL. UNL Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. When it rains, it pours out here. Maybe they, it could be a strategy of trying to make them feel a little bit more confident. I mean, too, after after they lost those two goals and they saw that mm -hmm. they're just kind of winging it. And don't don't put too much stress on this game. I mean, sometimes you got to do that. Keep your mindset a little bit better. Yeah, for sure. And either way, you lose 1-0, lose 4-0 at the end of the day, it's still a loss. You know, just come exactly. back strong next game. Nothing you can right now, if you're down 4, just try to work on the good fundamentals, just good passing, rotations, you know, just kind of get the groove back to the next game. Don't take it too hard. It could have also just been a little too hot from the last game, too. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you get a little, little cocky and it bites you in the butt, you know? Maybe they just uh -huh. need to be a little bit humbled and be like, okay, we, we need to get this. Yeah, and that's totally okay. It happens. Exactly. Some of the fans. I like to see him get some going. Yeah. I I feel like, like I said, this most likely is going to go to a best of five situation in from past experience. And at that point, I think UNL is going to be exhausted and they're just going to keep going. And they're not going to expect the, the energy from MSUM in the next four games or three games. Yeah. Yeah, three. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I just want to see MSM come out hot next game. Maybe start off with a goal. You know, don't want to get down and have this kind of just snowball effect into exactly. just getting scored on. And like I said, sometimes you just you just let it go. Don't even worry about the score. I know that some stats and like some placements happen depending on how many goals you score. But at this point, just just play a little bit of D. Don't even worry about getting goals. Just try your best to lower it down and just relax and get ready for the next one, honestly. Sure. If I was then just talking about what you want to work on the rest of the game when you know it's kind of chalked, you know it's over, it's no worries yeah. though, short term memory. Exactly. Sometimes you get a little heated. Maybe maybe they're just stressed out this game. Maybe we maybe they might just do a little bit of icing, you know, never you don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> but the fans on Twitch are going a little crazy. They're they're uh Always big fans of Grant. So, I mean, every time I see somebody talking, it's always about Grant. So love to see the fan favorite out there. Oh, yeah. And uh, I mean, I'm I'm a fan of uh, Trash a lot just because of his uh, his double taps are amazing. Like he does them so yeah, often. he's I cracked. Yeah, one. yeah. Trash is he's mechy with it. He's got those mechanics. He can he can hit some nasty shots. Yeah, they all that, can. But oh, yeah, I think he's very much their their scorer on this team. Oh, that was a chance. Stu with a solo play there. 
He almost, he almost popped off. We'd love to see that. I want to see some clips by our boys. Oh, look at that. Let's get the clips out. Oh, yeah, definitely. Looks like they're just trying to clear it in the midfield, but nobody... That was a oh beautiful dash back pass right there, out the backboard. That was really nice. Nobody really was able to hit it. I mean, it even messed up uh, UNL right there. Yeah. Nice little 50 by Stu there. Oh, nice, nice pass off the backboard. Yeah, it looked Unfortunately, like... Unfortunately, nothing coming from it. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to do a, a double tap right there, but got nothing for it. But another mm -hmm. demo. Oh, unfortunate demo. That's tough. Yeah. Dang, those demos, yeah, they clearing out the defenders. That'll do it. Yeah, and honestly, I think this might be getting into a little bit of MSU's head with the demos. Because uh, I'm they, sure it's a little tilting. They they do get tilted, and uh, that's why we don't go hot comms anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I was going to say, do we ever do that? That'd be fun, but we used to. Yeah, like that. That's just unfortunate right there with, with the it is. two right there. And that's just and a they, tough bounce off kickoff. Yeah, right it's like they them. double challenge that on the uh, on the kickoff, and somehow it just went in favor of uh, UNL. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I see what happened then. Never mind. Nice kickoff to the corner to Trash to see what he's got going. Oh, he went for the flipper set. Fortunately, it was defended well. But I, I'm ready to see some. I know these boys are gonna pop off. They got the potential, every one of them. And, you know, so I'm ready for it. I mean, I, like I said, I've seen them go five games and just go crazy. Like, yeah, they might drop these two right here, but they might just reverse sweep this whole thing. I, I've seen it happen. Yeah. And it's, that is... They might. And, yeah, last season... Oh, it is. Last season, they have any uh, reverse sweeps? Uh, yeah, they were down 0-2. Uh, and I can't remember to who because it's been uh, almost seven months. But uh, they were down 0-2 and just came back completely. And that was the longest night of my life. Just stressing the whole time casting that. It does sound so cool. Save well. my trash. But yeah, they have, a, they have a ton of pressure on blue side right now and it's not looking good right now. But yeah, they are getting pressured a lot. That was a nice pass off the backboard there. Unfortunately, couldn't make anything of it. Just want to keep keep up the pressure for MSUM because you got that pressure. You know, good things happen. You know, the, the defenders are out of boost. They might miss the ball. Exactly. And if you pressure, you're just gonna, you're gonna squeak one in. But uh, I definitely think, like I said, I still feel like they could get this. Um, it oh, might be a sure. reverse sweep. Like, yeah, they got that first game. But I'm, I'm still going to call it a, a reverse sweep, honestly, because... <laughs> That's a reverse sweep in my book. Exactly. <laughs> it's all that matters. Yeah. And and honestly, I I always feel confident in them. There's only been one time where I've felt a little down with them. And that was like when they just... It, they got reverse sweep themselves. And it, you could, it was just showing. Like, you could tell. But yeah, this game is a lot of mental. So if you get a little tilted or you get down, you know, it's going to affect everything. I think uh, I think this game will at least even even if they lose, it'll give bring them a lot of information on what they need to work on. So I, I always see like a lot of these uh, games, even if they're losing like right now, it shows what they need to work on and how they can get better. And they actually look oh. at that and Oh, for Pick sure. That was a nice shot by Sarge. Can't even lie. Off the ceiling there. Nice pass. Not much you can do when you have that much space. You got that much space and you're, you're a mechanical player. You're going to make them pay for it. And that's just exactly. unfortunate. And honestly, some people were talking in chat about Sarge going cracked last game. And he's still going. I mean, he has. <laughs> he's, he, he's peaking. Let's just, let's just cope and say he's peaking. And that's the only reason they're up. I'm hoping he's 18 and like <laughs> he's fresh off uh, fresh off of high school going, you know what? I'm going to be the best Rocket League player ever. And it, this is the best year of his life. Yeah, he's literally peaking. <laughs> Let's see the MSUM boys peek back. Let's do it. We we some dogs. I mean, hey, like I said, that's just unfortunate. Yeah, I think I think uh, again with this one, 
uh, they can see what the other team is really doing, and then they can focus mm -hmm. on fixing that for the next game. Because honestly, yeah. I've seen them get three goals in 58 seconds. I've never seen them get four goals in 58 seconds. So yeah, that is a tall task. I, I'm I'm banking on on the next two games. So. Mm -hmm. And was the last game a 5-0? Because I feel like they, they've been in a long drought right now. I think nine straight goals without a goal back. Yeah, that's tough. It was 5-0, it was and it's this is going to be this is going to be 10 if uh, yep. Saber and uh, who was that? It looks like Chan. Saber is Chan. Yeah, they they have really good communication. It looks like. Yeah, they're, they're popping off right now, and yeah. maybe MSCM should take a little break between this next game, you know, not ready up right away and kind of just talk before you jump yeah. right in and see what... Sometimes you just have to clear that air, just be like, I hate my life, you know, this this sucks, but <laughs> hey, we're gonna we're gonna just take a breather. I we, We've talked mm -hmm. about that, like, I've, I've talked to them about that, and like, their mental is their biggest weakness when it comes to uh, getting in their own heads. It's not that the, t the other team, like, messes them up, they just are like, we're better than this, we can do better. And it's like, yeah. you're right, but you just need to calm down and you're getting in your head thinking that way a little bit, you know? Sometimes you just have mm -hmm. to say, all right, what do I need to do the next game? And with one Well, that's minute, game three. Yeah, I mean, let's see him, Let's see him change some things up. Yeah, I know, it's tough yeah. when you, you get down even three, you know, you're really stretching to try to come back there and it kind of just, yeah. you're going to probably give up more goals once you're already down 3-0 because you're going to be trying a little, reach a little harder to try to get something going. Yeah. Honestly, well, let's I would see have how liked, they come back. Yeah, I would have liked to see one of them at least um, try to shake it up, change, change cars, maybe just give them a little bit of a breather. Um, Cause I know that I've seen them do a little bit before. Um, and that changed their mental completely. Mm -hmm. It looks like Grant has full control of this ball right now. Oh, oh nice. I nice. almost hit it bottom almost. left. Yeah. I just want to see them get a goal first. I don't want to see them go down and just feel like, oh my gosh, not again, you know? Just yeah. get a goal and kind of just change the mindset up. These, UNL has really good airplay too. Like, they're. I was just about to say. Yeah. I know that they're trash, cutting everything off. Yeah, Trash and uh, Stewie normally are the air players. Grant normally stays on the ground, but holy cow, like these guys are a lot more than I've seen even yeah. from like other teams. Yeah, they get up quick to cut off those passes, which is really huge. It makes it hard to kind of get offense going when they're just right there, just cutting exactly. the ball off. Just... Like, what do you oh, do? He's trying to, oh, no, that no. Was, that was he's nasty. Not gonna, he's everybody. not going to try to clip on us like that. Oh, hell Everybody no. was on that, too. They were like, <laughs> nah, man. We ain't getting clipped. You are not breezy flicking us. Yeah, and... Oh, that that's unfortunate, especially since it's on blue side. But Grant spots back in just in time. Those are ground, groundsman and Grant with Kong. Groundsman Grant. He's gardening everywhere. <laughs> Like I said, he has really good control when he's on the ground. I don't really see him pop up in the air, but he is really good, really steady. And he has done some crazy, like, basically going from, like, top speed, slowing it down to, like, almost zero, and then just popping it in. Like, I want to see yes. that Grant right now. Oh, that was... Oh, my gosh. Bounce. That is so lucky. That is just tough. You hate those because it's so unfortunate. It's, I'm going to say, you know, RNG cope right there. Copium. <laughs> cope. Guys, get the cope out. Let's go. And honestly, we, we do have, like, everybody in chats right now saying that they want to see a reverse sweep. And granted, we all do, too. And with that, Let's I, think, go. I think that is the start. Let's go. Of this That's the sweep. start, baby. Let's go. Let's go. You, this is what I was nice. talking about. Nice dump off right there from oh Grant, for sure. Yeah, he, he's, he has such good just control of that ball while he has it. Like, he was just slowly getting it ready, setting it up for another teammate. He, he's like, I'm not going to get this goal. Let's give it to somebody else. Yeah, setting it off on a tee right there. He loved to see it. Nice shot. Yeah, and they're all back on that. 
Now we got a game. You just win this and it's one game takes all, you know? Exactly. And that's honestly all we have to worry about. It's one game at a time. And with this game, yeah. look at that. Look at that. They're setting up one more time. Oh, that was a tough angle. Tough angle. Yeah, that's another That's another thing that I've seen with Grit. Oh, but... Let's go, Stu. Oh, that was Stewie. Okay. I saw that Grit and I was like, Stu did, right Grant, there. did Grant just get all the way back that quick? But no, it was Stewie. He's... He plays great at that speed game. He's always there when you need him. A nice oh, whip, whip there by Saber. It was good for us, bad for him, and I think they just double committed. This could be, this could be bad. This definitely. Unfortunately, could be bad. he got back with a big pinch right there for the clear. But we do have trash right there for the save, and while it wasn't like the crazy save, I feel like that Honda Civic. <laughs> I definitely feel like that was counted as a goal a little too early, and I think that that would have been cleared. But it might have just been ping on my end, but that looked That's like That's unfortunate. That. Honda Civic, pay to win, pay to win, doesn't count. Yeah, you know, it, it's all this pay to win in this game that has no pay to win. Exactly. The Honda <laughs> Civic, sorry to using pay to win Civic, not, does, not a real goal in my butt. Yeah. But... In Rocket League terms, totally a goal, and we just need to step up just a little bit. <laughs> we have we one more got two minutes to a goal. Exactly, we have we have we have enough time. And when it comes into overtime, I feel like MSUM will have the the pressure on. Or oh, we got or, that ice. Nice pass on the backboard. Oh crap! Grant, so close. Oh, that was Stewie again trying to get another goal attempt on that, but just couldn't. Mm -hmm. And that's that, a big miss by Sarge there. Yeah, I, that was just a really bad angle. Maybe those Civics aren't doing uh, as good as they thought that's, they were. That's because Sarge peaked already. It's over for him. He already peaked. Like I said, he, he hit 19 halfway through the game. We've got to go to the next one. Oh, dang. Oh, that's He's just looks like maybe miscommunication there in net, maybe. I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe. I mean, yeah. I know that one was really far away, and oh, it that's looks like he just didn't have enough boost, maybe. Look, yeah, it looked like he ran out of boost, and it looked like that that guy coming off the ceiling probably faked him too. It looked like he might have hit that, and he just went through it. That's oh, just definitely. unfortunate. Some of those the calculated fakes when they don't mean to can be huge. But we got time. We're some dogs. We got time. Yeah, definitely. We, we still have a minute, and like this type of situation, I definitely could see us uh, coming back in this match but oh for we, sure you never know i mean sometimes the mental is just not there right now and again, two goals is, is doable yeah two goals is doable in 45 seconds i've seen them score in two game seconds you know like they yeah they score and then they get another goal right after that it's crazy but i mean it might just it might just mean like you know we just have to the defense we just have to work on a little bit of stuff, you know? Let's see Stu pop, pop off the flip reset. Unfortunately, not on target. Nice try there. They did get it away from the orange team, though. And so hey, we oh, take that those. Was a goal. That was a We take goal. those. That was so good. Groundsman Grant with the calculated redirect off the opponent. You'll love to see it. Let's go. That's the spark we need. Let's go. I think a little nice shot from Saber. He was definitely, I think Saber's now tilted about that one. And I think oh, it's Grant over. It's really over. aggressive. I think, Let's go, I think boys. Ten might, seconds. I think this might actually be the spark that they needed, and Grant is still playing nutty. Oh my gosh, that, that was a good pull. Almost, have, almost happened. We got time. Yo, this is it. Yo, trash with the peak. Unfortunately, ah, oh. oh, the backboard defense oh, man. is there. It was... Oh, that was unfortunate. Hey, first series, can't complain. You know, they took the first game, and you just have to look back and see what to do better next time. No worries, you know, exactly. first series. And with, with all this information that they have from this, they definitely can come back and learn from it. I mean, this game is a lot just, to be excited about. Yeah, I mean, they were showing off really great plays. They were showing off just amazing stuff going on. And yes, there's going to be some new stuff that they have to work on. But... Honestly, they're they're still looking good even with this loss. Yeah, this team has potential, major potential. I think I think they can they can go far if not win the whole thing. I have faith in them. They're cracked. I played with them all. They're pretty nuts. So 
yeah, definitely. I think they'll come back next series hard and they'll just, you know, short term memory and they'll be back next next series. Yeah, I definitely think that um, next uh, next game that they play, it, it'll definitely be way better with all the information they have from just even losing, like I said. Oh, definitely. You learn a lot from either a win or you probably learn you learn more from a loss than a win, you know, especially one like that. You can see what do we need to work on? Yeah. I definitely I definitely am excited to see what happens in the in the future with these guys. Uh but for now, we are going to take